Wendy Johnson with Drive Across Texas, and I have a fabulous story for y'all today. I'm so excited. We are talking Texas. We are talking soda. We're talking real sugar soda, y'all. I'm here with Rick Owen, who is the VP of Sales and Marketing here at Oak Cliff Beverage Works. That's right. Did I say that right? You did. Yeah. So we are in Oak Cliff, Texas, y'all, and I am so excited. So tell us a little bit. Tell us what y'all do here. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> so let me back up a little bit and tell you uh, tell you how I got here, and that'll help explain the whole thing. Yeah, so that's interesting. So um, I'm coming up on 41 years in the soft drink business. And uh, I spent 28 years in the Coca-Cola system here in Northeast Texas. And uh, I kind of got burnt out on the whole big beverage world and wanted to do something different. But I still love the soft drink business, but I just wanted to do something different. So after 14 years at Coca-Cola, or I'm sorry, 28 years at Coca-Cola, okay. uh, I went over to uh, Big Red, another Texas uh, soft drink company. Love Big Everybody loves Big Red. So I left Coke after 28 years and I went to work for Gary Smith, the owner of Big Red out of, out of Austin, Texas. Worked for those guys for uh, 11 years and then they sold out to Dr. Pepper. And I had no idea what I was going to do with the rest of my life, but I wanted to be in the soft drink business, but I didn't want to be in the big beverage world. Yeah. And Brian Wilder, the owner of Oak Cliff Beverage Works, just randomly walked up to me one day at a food show, right as Big Red was about to be sold, and asked me if I would come visit with him here at his facility here in Dallas, and and uh, you know just see whether or not I might like to go to work for him. And I thought, wow, that there's a lot of stars that are lining there. Yeah. Uh, you know. My company's being sold and this gentleman here is recruiting me to go to work for him. I thought, wow, I have at least got to go over there and see what he's doing. Yeah. So I came over and I was just amazed at what's going on here. You know, Brian started this company uh, 10 years ago and it was growing so fast. Uh, he just couldn't deal with it on his own anymore. So he started recruiting uh, beverage industry veterans mm -hmm. like myself and uh, when I came here and learned about how he makes these sodas and how they're so much different than what's going on in the mainstream beverage world uh, and how he is addressing you know the needs of modern consumers who are a little bit uneasy about consuming high fructose corn syrup and artificial colors and artificial flavors and you know he's addressing all those concerns but at the same time he's also making amazingly good sodas i knew right then that i needed to be part of this and, and the rest uh, is history and the rest is history so <laughs> so yeah so uh you know i i didn't know if uh, you know i had never sold craft soda before yeah. Uh, coming from the big beverage, you know, I work for Coke. Everybody wants Coke. It's not hard to sell Coke. Yeah, uh, everywhere. But yeah, I didn't know how successful I would be or how much I could help Brian. And lo and behold, uh, last year uh, was my first full year here at the company, and it was amazing. Uh, I was able to sell these products into Bucky's, mm -hmm. which was we are so proud of the fact that our products are sold in Bucky's. Um, Next time you're driving across Texas and you're stopping at Buggies, look for... Real sugar soda, please. Yeah. You'll, you'll love it. Uh, we're on the fountain and we're on their icy machines. But uh, we were able to get, get into Buggies uh, and we got into Snappy Salads. We got into several more of the regional kind of chain restaurants. Yeah. and. We started having all these independent distributors around the country contacting us, wanting to sell our products. Awesome. And then last year, so last year was just absolutely unreal. And uh, then we started off this year, uh, Babe's Chicken Dinner House wanted our products, nice. which is an iconic uh, family-owned restaurant chain here in Northeast Texas, you probably heard of. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we started off this year getting their business 
they blessed us with their business and then the world kind of fell apart. <laughs> COVID. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of got us all. But you know what? Our stories are working through it because you guys are still growing. Yeah. You're still getting into new places. You're still amazing sodas. We yeah. found you guys at Super Sliders, which happens to be owned by a friend of mine in Waxahachie. We were telling their stories and Brian's like, where did you get the soda? <laughs> I mean, it's so good, you know? Yeah. And, you know, Brian, you know, he, he's a soda drinker. He loves it. So he was like, we tried some of the different flavors that they have there. And then here comes Dean walking in to, like, fix something on the soda thing because he's that good. Yes, you know, sir. he's like a big guy here, but he's still in touch with the customers. Yeah, absolutely. So y'all aren't only making great craft soda. You're also providing customer service just like no other. Texan customer service. Absolutely. We that, love that. That's that's what's been so that's one of the things that's been so much fun about joining this team is it's kind of taking me back to my my old original days in the soft drink business when everything back in those days seemed to be much more service and customer focused yeah. and a whole lot more one-on-one -on -one type relationships with your customers. Much more personal. M much more personal. Building and that's relationships. Yeah, and that's what you get when you do business with us. I mean, uh, you deal with the owner, you deal with me, you deal directly with the, with Dean, who's over uh, all of our delivery yeah. and the technical aspects of our company. Awesome. We're all veterans. We're all going to take really good care of you. But you know what? The most important thing, and Brian will tell you this, the most important thing is not the fact that we're all natural flavors, all, you know, all natural non-GMO coloring, uh, you know, made with real domestically grown cane sugar. All that is great and all that sounds good and it is good. Yeah. But the most important thing is our sodas taste absolutely amazing. They are good. I, ha I have to say that, you know, they are good. I mean, right. it's, you know, and it's in a world where people are trying to, you know, be a little bit more natural, be a little right. bit better, but you still want a soda, it's good right. to have a good choice. Right, yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. So I have a restaurant and I want to have your sodas. How do I get a hold of you? How oh. do I like contact you? What well, do I do? Well, you just you, you just reach out to me at rick at realsugarsoda.com as my email. And uh, either either me, I will come call on you myself, or potentially even the owner of the company will come call on you, Brian Wilder. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're we're we have a very personal relationship with our customers, and I mean, you don't have to call some office in Florida that will eventually route the <laughs> message back to me and all that yeah. kind of stuff. You know, you you call just right here. Just call the headquarters here, or send me an email, and uh, we'll come call on you. That's awesome. And you even bring people in so they can taste the sodas and like kind of have that experience of and be able to pick what they want. Absolutely. Y'all have a lot of flavors. We have people come in here all the time, uh, restaurant tours who want something different. You know, we get a lot of restaurant tours that come in here and say, you know what? We don't want to sell the same sodas that you can get at all the big national chains. We want to do something really special and really unique for our customers and and everybody these days loves to buy local oh yes you know it's all about local shop these days local, shop small yeah. absolutely but before you switch from you know one of the big mainstream beverages to something like us you feel a little bit better about making that change if you could come here and actually taste the products absolutely. and and you know meet the team here and see you know, how experienced we are and get a comfort that we really are and truly are able to take good care of your business, which we are. And so, yeah, we get a lot of visitors here. I love that. I love that. Well, there you have it, folks. Check it out. Oak Cliff Beverage Works, real sugar soda. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, call Rick up. Tell him you want to come taste some soda. And he'll tell you where you can get it all as well. So thank you so much for thank sharing you. with us today. Thank you. thank you for being a part of this. We're excited to share your story. It's going to be great. Thank you for coming. So there you have it, folks. Bye, y'all.
Hey y'all, it's Wendy Johnson with Drive Across Texas and I'm here at Oak Cliff Beverage Works and I'm talking to another VP and you are VP of all the technical stuff, right? Technical solutions, yes. Installations, all the machines, all, the machines, all that kind of stuff and everything. So this is Dean Crosby Hi. and he's going to tell us a little bit about what do you do here? What is your role? How do you serve the community? My role is to support our sales team and every aspect of that, including deliveries, installation of new equipment, and any type of service that needs to be done. And our service department runs 24 seven. So oh, we wow. make sure that we take care of all of our customers. Um, in, in talking with Rick, you know, Rick was talking about how all, all of our products stand up to, to, mm -hmm. to the big beverage and, and how good a quality of product it is. Well, that takes technical support to, to be able to maintain and, and keep that standard. And that's what I was brought here is to make sure of that. Now, I, you know, as from a true Texan, we have a little bit of a pride that Absolutely. a lot of other people don't have. I mean, you see the fact that we're walking around wearing our hats, you know, yeah. we're, we're true Texans. That's and right. we do take a lot of pride in what we do. We take a lot of self pride in what we do. And we try to take care of our customers the same way. I mean, we're trying to bring customer service back. You know, I was speaking with you a little bit on the side about um, customer service you call somebody and you have to wait and hold and you can call here and, and talk to our owner of our company and he would he call me and dispatch us I mean you can get a hold of every one of us by phone yeah. and we try to take care of our customers that way you know we've, we've been really good and really lucky and you know through all of this COVID stuff it, it slowed it down a lot we actually gained customers during the middle of all that you know so it's been it's been a nice and a fun experience you know that's so important, you know, to be able to, hey, my machine's not working, or this isn't, and then somebody shows up and fixes it. That's how we met you. Yeah, absolutely. And it was like 9 o'clock at night, absolutely. and you came down to help carry at Super Sliders to fix one of the things on the machine and make a delivery. Absolutely. You know, and, and she told us that. She said, I need something, he's here. Or one of his guys is here. There's somebody that shows up to help us out. That's so important, that it customer service, you know, that a lot of times we're missing. And he said a little bit of Texas pride, but we know that we all. No, we have a big Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Everything's bigger say. in Texas. That's what they say. <laughs> That's right. We just try to not get arrogant about it. You know, the fact that we do care about our customers and our and our you know and our people too. I mean, we've got we've got good techs that all of us have got multi, multiple years of being out in the field and out in the industry, and and we get take good care of our customers and. And, and pride and if my phone goes off during the middle of the interview it's probably somebody trying to get a hold of me and you know we might have to stop for me to answer but that's all right that's right you know? customer that's service right. absolutely that's and you what are a veteran soda guy too i'm a veteran soda guy too actually I, a second generation soda second guy? generation my my dad worked for dallas coca-cola for 40 years uh, i grew up as a you know two and three and four year old walking in vice president's offices and taking candy off their desk you know because back then it was a small family run yeah. situation it was it was different than the big corporate world is now yeah and it, it was nice to be able to grow up in that and then when i was 18 i was working out of the back of a coke truck doing doing the coca-cola stuff you know yeah. and it spent many many years doing that spent 20 years doing it directly for them and left to go pursue other interests for a little while and had a job skill and come back and went right back into the subcontractor, you know? Yeah. Working for Coca-Cola for another 10 years. Okay, and, and then so. you came over to do something fun with a craft soda company. I love that. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And as, as the products changed and, and everything went toward the high fructose corn syrups and the things like that, it just kind of lost the taste, you know, because being a second generation, I, I had Coke products everywhere every kind you know yeah. my dad was died in a wool coke man and so i tasted everything from the the good products that they had to the bad products they had and everything in between you know and it was yeah. it was fun it was really fun uh growing up like that but my whole house is always decorated with coca-cola so they, they were they were quite into that yeah. but growing up I, I got to more be more about taste and that's kind of what sold me here is I come over to try to help Brian out. You know, it's a small industry. Everybody knows each other. You know, it's really small. From, you know, the technicians that work at the Big Beverage, they know who we are. We know who they are. You know, it's, it's a relatively small industry. That's awesome. But 
he called me over here and said, here, try this. And that was, that was all it took. I was like, wow, this is just amazing stuff. There you go. You know, it's just amazing. It's amazing the, how it's produced. It's amazing, you know, the fact that we do everything in-house from manufacturing to boxing to, to delivery of our own customers. And we actually take care of the machines and stuff too. So that's, that's cool. it's a one-stop shop as far as that part of it. That's awesome. I that's love that. Very much. Well, okay, so let me ask you this. Do you have a favorite flavor? The one that got me here was coconut lime. Really? Yes. It, it's it's such an unusual product flavor that I walked in and tasted it and I was like, all of them are really good. That one stuck out in my mind and that was just a favorite of mine, you know? But I mean, we've really, we've really got good cola flavors. I mean, we've got yeah. good, I mean, our cola stands up with, with everybody's. It does. And, yeah. It's um, good. You know, root beers are really good. The root beer it's, it's is amazing. amazing. It's, it's amazing. so good. But yeah. that, but for some, I guess that one was because it was so different. You know, that, that's the that's the one that really got me. I, I, but all of them sell themselves. You know, we just have to get people there and try them, and that's that's the rule that we have. We don't we don't even have to really sell it. We just here come try that. Yeah. You know. So yeah. Rick was saying earlier that we we try to get people into it, but that's what sells us stuff. You know, yeah. we just got to get them here. Got to have a good flavor. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. Cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing your part of the the soda company with us and what you do here and how you serve Texans because that's, that's what we like to share. It's all about Texas around here. Absolutely. So, thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Johnson with Drive Across Texas and I, I'm beyond excited now because I am standing here with Wild Man Wilder. <laughs> Brian Wilder with Oak Cliff Beverage Works. He is the, you're the founder. I'm the founder. You're the right? creator. Yep. He is the owner here of Real Sugar Sodas. Correct. I'm so excited. Okay, so I don't, I don't even know what to ask you. I want to hear your story. How in the world did you come up with this? Well, um, I guess the main thing is, you know, I wanted to have a job where they couldn't fire me. So, <laughs> kind of got late in life and... Um, I want to be my own boss. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I started it pretty much broke and um, built it up very slowly, a little bit at a time. And uh, yeah. we, you know, got some amazing accounts. We created some really good products and, you know, we were growing pretty rapidly and I knew that uh, we had a model that worked and you know the key to growing it was finding the right people to help us so uh, we've hired some great people and uh, you know we're just rolling so getting bigger yeah you've got some a lot great... of fun yes yeah. we've gotten to talk to some of your guys here and it's all it's all like it's real it's customer service it's a great product Craft soda, I just love saying that. It's so fun. It's so yeah. fun. Okay, but I did hear that you were not originally from Texas. Well, I got here as fast as I could. I love that. <laughs> there it is, folks. We claim him now. He's ours. Yeah. I have yeah. two natural born, you know, siblings so, or you know, children, so I guess they're there gonna let go. me stay. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Well, we're glad that you're here and we're I'm really excited. So the sodas, I've tried several of them. They're so good. We found them first at Super Sliders and there's some great flavors. And so tell me, how do you come up with like some of these different flavors? They're not, you know, just, I mean, y'all have the cola and the Dr. Doctor, but you've got some really great other stuff. So how did you get that? Well, we looked at uh, big sodas, fountain machines. They all look the same out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if you go there, I mean, they all have the same flavors on yeah. there. We wanted to give people a little bit more variety. Yeah. 
And growing up, you know, some of the flavors that we used to drink as kids are just not out there. So, yeah, you know, true. we we created things like black cherry and cream soda, and sarsaparilla. You know, I mean, in addition to our signature cola, which you know, being a lifelong Coca-Cola drinker, yeah. uh, I got to where I'd only drink Mexican Coke and. You know, three bucks a bottle, it was kind of hard to take. And yeah. So I really wanted to have a great cola, and you know, I mean, this is all I drink, really. I mean, I like all our products, but our cola is absolutely amazing, especially if you're a Coke drinker. And you want something that's better for you, made with real ingredients. Yeah. So we use 100% all natural, non-GMO cane sugar. Everything is grown and processed in Louisiana, so we know it's top quality product. And, uh, uh, it's not rocket science. If you use better ingredients, it's gonna taste better. And people out there, I mean, they're used to their regular beverage. And if we're lucky enough to get them to put our product in their mouth, if we don't blow them away, I mean, there's no reason to buy it again. Yeah. And I've always said, I don't wanna sell anybody just one soda. Yeah. You know? So. We try to make everything taste amazing. That's awesome. And have those attributes that people want these days. All natural, non-GMO, and great taste. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, yeah. So, okay, so tell me, where are you going? What are your plans? What's your vision for? Well, our vision better? right now is to get through 2020. It's been a tough year. <laughs> and, you know, our customers are mostly restaurants, and uh, yeah. so we're Trying to diversify a little bit, you know, we're in a great account called Bucky's. I'm sure you're familiar oh, yeah. with it. It's really helped us with getting our brand out there. Absolutely. They have a lot of people that go through those stores. So, um, you know, we're just trying to um, focus on what we do best right now, which is take care of our customers better than, you know, Big Soda can do it. And, you know, we're primarily focused in restaurants. And, you know, we hope to one day be on the grocery store shelf. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Be able to just go down there and just pick one up every day. Brian stops in at Slipper Sliders to get, to get the sodas because he loves it so much. So, yeah, it's kind of become a thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I love it. Okay, so you guys have been here since 2009. So when you started? We started in 2009, but didn't really start making it ourselves and doing what we do today till 2014. Okay. So, so you got a few years My original ago. vision was, uh, you know, was really this product because SodaStream back then had grown to almost 1% of a home market share. Mm -hmm. And I tried their products. I thought they were awful. And, you know, <laughs> It's a great concept, yeah. but not a great product. Right. And so but now you can get a great product yeah. to go with the great concept. Right. So, you know, the retail market's really tough to break into, so we just kind of did this online while we built our restaurant business, but this is really starting to take off now. For people at home, if you have a soda stream machine, uh, these are great products. Um, so you can go on your website and buy these. Yep. Is it all the flavors? Yep. On our website, you can get all the flavors. On Amazon, we have the Dr. Doctor, Cola, and our root beer. Okay. So, so this is a great gift for somebody that's like your, the soda fan. Exactly. This and time they, of year, our sales are really strong with people, you know, giving gifts of soda yeah. streams. So. Because they can, they can make their own soda right there. You know, while you're quarantining, you don't have to. Yeah, and there's. <laughs> you don't have to worry about you know, it. A lot less packaging than if you're buying a you know 12 pack or a can. That's true. Cans That's and, true. So it's, so it's environmentally friendly. friendly. <laughs> huh? There we go. See, yeah. I love it. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you for uh, coming and visiting with well, us. Well, you're welcome. Yeah. There you have it, folks. If you are interested in a great product, a great Texas product, if you have a soda stream, make sure you check it out on their website. Oak Cliff Beverage Works, you can get all your favorite flavors. How many flavors do y'all have now? Um, on the website, I think we have a, you know, just around 20. You know? That's what I was thinking. It was like yeah. 20, there's like 20 different flavors. There's a lot. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of cool stuff to choose from, you know, and, and like the root beer. 
The root beer is pretty awesome. And I think it might be my favorite. We have really good tea and lemonade too. If you don't want a oh, carbonated you beverage, go. you don't need a soda stream. You can just mix it with cold water. Yeah, yeah. Well, and something else I noticed is some of them are caffeine free. So if you're a caffeine free person, you've even got choices there as well. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty much all of them except the cola and the Dr. Doctor are caffeine free. There so, you go. Yeah. See, if you don't want to stay up at night, drink exactly. your soda anyway. Thank you so much okay. for sharing with us today. We've enjoyed it. We're excited to put it out there. Okay, thanks again for coming by. There you have it, folks. Real sugar soda at Oak Cliff Beverage Works. Bye, y'all. guys check out my new look what do y'all think I have met Glenn who is like a chemist he is a flavorist he is the guru behind the flavors of soda here he makes them and he's gonna show me so I had to put on my hairnet so that he can show me you've been in soda for quite a while now quite, right quite a while. I yeah. would say about 25 years 25 years and you learned like hands-on hands-on like how to like mix it mix and it. flavor it and and you guys got a good operation going in here right. so what are you going to show us in there what are we going to get to see we get to see the, the mix and the filler and the packer cool so the mix is in this big vat right right in the big tank so we get to see it mixing yes and then how you guys fill all the bags and box it box it and everything yeah Okay, and I was I was watching earlier. They do it. Y'all do it all by hand. Yeah, we do it everything by hand. One sticker at a time. One sticker at a time. I love it. And they box them and they put them on the, the flat, ready right. to go. Ready to go. It's pretty awesome. So, how long have you worked here with Brian and all the guys here? Oh, uh, four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you love it. Yeah, I love it. What's your favorite soda flavor? Uh, Coke. Just the regular the cola. Regular Coke. It's regular, it's just, just good, right? It's good. I love it. <laughs> All right, I got my hairnet on, let's go. Let's go. All right. This, this is what we do, I oh, imagine it. It's so good in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, what's in here? This is uh, pure cane sugar. Pure cane sugar. sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah, that's a lot of sugar. 